please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children we are working we are trying to understand fraction now in fraction there is an order ordering what we are going to try to understand today is ordering of fractional numbers okay you know what's a fractional number 1 by 2 1 by 5 these are fractional numbers now ordering ordering of putting it in no order that means okay fractional numbers now in a fractional number which is big which is small which come first that's what we are going to look at carefully today now if we say if you have a rectangular piece okay we have a rectangular piece and then we keep dividing this the same size of strip you divide into half into quarter one third and so on now that's what we are going to do today ordering of now we have the, i have done for you 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 10 strips of the same size now what we are going to look at is ordering of fractional number what is a whole what is a half we are going to look at all right now in the first one the whole thing we call it one whole so this is called whole okay whole this one whole strip and we have 10 like that now each of that we will make fractions and then we see the order now this is a whole and the second one i am going to divide into half now okay now this is divided into half so we have one half and we have another half so now the one half that is divided i am coloring one part of the two now look at that this is one whole now i have divided that into half so you have one half cover colored so we i write this as 1 by 2 all right now next what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide this into three parts okay now okay now i'm going to divide this into three parts 1 and 2 so now we have 1 2 and 3 parts and of the three part i am going to color 1 by 3 okay so you have one two three part so i write this as one part is colored out of three parts so we say this one by two one by three now i am going to divide the same strip into four parts all right same strip into four parts okay now we have 1 2 3 4 the whole is here we divided the whole into 
two parts and we colored one part the whole one whole we divided into three parts and we have one two three and now we have divided the whole into four parts okay so now i color one part we divided into four part i colored one part so that is one out of four one by four now the whole i am going to divide into five parts okay one two three four and five one two three four five now the whole is divided into five parts and here i color only one part and what do we say how do we represent this fraction number one part out of five parts now we are going to divide the whole into six parts okay now now we have two parts okay now we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 parts the whole i have divided into six equal parts and one part is colored so we represent the fraction number as one part colored out of six part now next step we are going to divide into seven parts okay now we going to divide this into seven parts now the whole i divided into seven parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 i divided into seven part and i am going to color only one portion so that is in fractional number you say one part out of seven parts now let us divide this into eight parts okay now we'll divide this into eight parts Okay, we have now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have divided the whole into eight parts, and we color one part. So we say one part according to the fractional number. We say one part out of eight part. Now we're going to divide. Let us divide this into nine parts. Okay. Okay, we had let us divide this into nine parts, and the last one into ten parts. So, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and here we are going to divide it into nine parts. Okay. So you have here one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have nine, and here I'm going to color just one part. out of the nine and we call this fractional number one part out of nine and here you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and we are going to color just one part and we call that one in fractional number one part out of 10 so now let's look at all this what we have done all right ordering of fractional numbers now this is one whole so i'm going to color that one whole this is one whole all right
1 by 1. In fraction we call it 1 by 1. Now, we have half. Now, let's look at, let's look at this. First of all, we have one whole. Look, that, look at this carefully. We have this one whole. Now, definitely the one whole is, one whole is bigger than, greater than 1 by 2. Yes? Now, so the one whole is, what is the sign for greater? The greater sign is like this. The bird has swallowed the greater, bigger part. So, 1 by 2. 1 by 2. When we look at the picture, the whole is colored. So, the one whole is greater than, bigger than half. Now, this half. Okay? Now, this half. Let's put down half here. Now, this half is greater than, greater than, bigger than 1 by 3. Is that clear? 1 by 3. So, now we learned bigger, greater. Now, let's say 1 by 3 is greater, bigger than 1 by 4. Look at the size itself in the colored portion. So, 1 by 4 certainly is smaller than 1 by 3. Now, let's look at 1 by 4. Now, 1 by 4 certainly greater, bigger than 1 by 5 fraction. Fractional number 1 by 5. That clear? Now let's look at 1 by 5. 1 by 5 is certainly greater than, bigger than 1 by 6. Alright? The 5, 1 by 5 is, the portion is bigger than 1 by 6. Now let's look at 1 by 6 is certainly bigger, greater than 1 by 7. When you divide the whole into 6 parts, when you divide the whole into 7 parts, certainly 1 by 6 is greater than 1 by 7 or bigger than. Now, 1 by 7. 1 by 7 is bigger than or greater than 1 by 8. Because the whole is divided into 7 parts. The whole is divided into 8 parts. So, certainly 1 by 8 is smaller than 1 by 7. Now, let's look at 1 by 8. 1 by 8 is greater than 1 by 9. Because the same whole is divided into 8 parts. The same whole is divided into 9 parts. So, certainly 1 by 8 is bigger. Now, finally, we have 1 by 9 is certainly bigger, greater than 1 by 10. Alright? So, we learned which fraction is bigger, which fraction is greater. Looking at the pattern drawn, ordering of fractional numbers. So, when you want to check out, draw, take a paper, fold it or draw it and then you will know, oh, 1 by 2 is bigger than 1 by 3. Although the denominator is big, when you look at the pattern picture, 1 by 2, we said, Greater than 1 by 3. Denominators are different. Here it is 2 and it is 3. The smaller the denominator, the greater the fractal number. In same way, the, but the same strip is divided into one third. The, strain, the three part, the same strip divided into four part. So, although the denominator is small, and the denominator is bigger, 
the greater fractional number is 1 by 3. Again, 1 fourth and 1 fifth, the same strip is divided into 4 parts, the same strip is divided into 5 parts. Therefore, although the denominator 5 is big and 4 is small, we know from the picture here 1 by 4 is bigger than 1 by 5 even though the denominator. Now, again here in each of these cases 1 by 5 and 1 by say the smaller the denominator when the strip is divided into the same number say different number but the same sign. So, if one, the smaller the denominator the greater is the fraction. Again here 1 by 6 and 1 by 7 smaller the denominator the greater the fraction. Similarly, 1 by 10, 1 by 10 the denominator is small, denominator is big, the smaller the denominator bigger the fraction number. Now, if we have the same denominator, what we are going to look next is, the denominator will be same, you have to look at the numerator. In this case, all numerators are same, just one. But if we have, now next, if we have to look at greater less and if you have the same denominator the numerator is different you only have to look at the numerator okay